So bile produced in these hepatocytes and then um, shunted through these little canaliculi to each bile duct of the portal triad. These portal triads, if you can imagine, okay, let's draw both sides, um, are going to meet up and become, let me show one more over here, become what? It's a lovely picture here of my bile duct, <laughs> right? The, the common bile duct that's going to go to the small intestine. That's all you need to know. So small intestine backs up to that gallbladder when there's um, too much. Actually, this is a great color here for talking about bile. So produced in hepatocytes, what is it? It is a yellowish, brown, green, alkaline solution, um, substance solution. So solution, it actually is in water. It's going to have bile salts. That's an important one. It's going to have some other fats in there, phospholipids, um, do I want cholesterol, triglycerides. I'm just going to write down the most important ones here. Um, bile pigments. That's what gives it its color. One of these is bilirubin. I think I spelled that right. Um, that's the main components, electrolytes. I'm actually not going to talk about those, so I won't write it. These two here and bile salts are going to be what we talk about the most. Um, Billy Rubin, just as a little bit of a side note, it is produced in the spleen um, due to breakdown of red blood cell, red blood cells. The spleen's job is to recycle blood cells that are old or uh, damaged break breakdown of red blood cells produces among other things bilirubin bilirubin is actually a toxin that is going to be by putting it in the bile we can get rid of it we'll see that in a moment but this should make sense right we are putting bile into the small intestine the small intestine is going to enter the large intestine and then enter um produce feces. So it's a way of getting rid of um, this toxic substance. It's not the only one, but um, it's, it's a main one. And you may be so high in low bilirubin. Well, high is, is a clinically relevant thing to look at. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about bile salts. Pretty cool stuff. This is a globule of fat, as I have labeled. Fat is what? Hydrophobic. So if we want to be able to break down fat, ultimately by an enzyme, we need to be able to break this thing up. This is called emulsification. It's actually a type of mechanical dis um, digestion where we're disrupting those hydrophobic um, interactions. How do you disrupt hydrophobic interactions? If you have grease on your hands or like oil on your hands, um, how do you disrupt those hydrophobic interactions? You use soap, a detergent. That's basically what bile salts are. They are just like detergents. They're, they have a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic side. What's this called? Ampipathic, just like your phospholipids. So phospholipids actually can, can act like this as well. Bile salts and phospholipids are both present in your bile. Bile salts are um, more prevalent. So because this hydrophobic side can interact with fat, it can get up in here and break apart these large globules. And that's what's showing, shown here, it stabilizes fat in smaller globules. That's called emulsification. That's it. And that's how what happens when you wash soap off your hands. 
So this is smaller fat globules now. Let's write here a large fat globule. Why do we want to do this? Well, we, we still, this is still like a whole clump of like triglycerides. Um, we still need to be able to chemically digest that. But now we can do that. So this is a little preview into absorption here um, that kind of shows this here, same large fat globule we're starting with that's you ingested some delicious fat. Bile salts are going to emulsify. Um, then we can actually hear what, this is a change in chemical structure here. So this is chemical digestion. What does that? This is going to be a lipase. And this is actually, um, let me make sure I have that right. Yes, I have that right. A pancreatic lipase. Lipase breaks the bonds to go from um, like triglycerides to fatty acids. These are called micelles. I'm not sure if I'll come back to that. They're basically stabilized by bile salts again so that they can be carried and absorbed into these enterocytes. How can these get through here? What's going on there? Well, they're hydrophobic, so they can just go right in there.